Before we proceed, let's extend our deepest heartfelt sympathy to every soul in South Kalimantan, Indonesia, who had been tragically tested by various disasters. Be strong and never give up, my friends. Rise up high and believe that you can. Let's pray for Kalimantan. Courts have no jurisdiction to entertain any challenge against the emergency proclamation by the king, said senior lawyer Muhammad Hanif Katri Abdullah. He said this was according to Article 150 in bracket 8, bracket B of the federal constitution. Article 150, bracket 8, bracket B, he said, expressly spelled out no court shall have jurisdiction to entertain or determine any application question on or proceeding in whatever form on any ground regarding the validity of proclamation of emergency highlighting the way article 150 bracket 8 bracket b is worded Hanif Khatri said the challenge should be on the advice of the Prime Minister instead of the emergency. To me, honestly, he said, having such a provision, Article 150 bracket 8, would make it very difficult, even if challenged the advice, for the court to entertain. The court will say that if we entertain it, indirectly we are entertaining a challenge to the proclamation of emergency. It's not a clear situation, as there is no case law yet, he said when contacted by Bernama. Meanwhile, the incumbent institution of the Mali Rulers Chair at University Technology Mara, Professor Sham Rahayu Abdul Aziz said, the proclamation was made because the king's satisfaction, therefore no grounds whatsoever can allow an application to court to justify its validity. I don't think this is a strong ground because the constitutional provision says that in whatever reasons, no one can question the proclamation of emergency, said Sam Rahayu. Some lawyers may argue that there is a bad fate. I don't think this is a strong ground because the constitutional provision says that in whatever reasons, no one can question the proclamation of emergency, said Sham Rahayu. On January 12th, Yang Dipoton Agong proclaimed an emergency which will be enforced up to August 1st as a proactive measure to contain the worsening COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia. As a concern nationals, what has been done by the Prime Minister by enforcing the MCO and advising Agong for the proclamation of emergency was absolutely right and wise. It is considered right because the country and the people desperately need such a bold decision. It is wise because PM could brilliantly weigh up every angle prior to his action from of course a Torah calculation the first calculation is that if the emergency is not declared, then PM will enslave the life of the people to the pandemic. How? Under two conditions. 1. Vacant state legislative assembly and parliament seats will allow an election to be held. 2. The disastrous push from various non-aligned political parties and frustrated individuals will definitely impact the PM to not be able to hold his horses for the general election. If this happens, then those elections will become a centrifugal force for coronavirus to spread. That's the distinctive reason why PM chose to having an audience with His Majesty to seek the proclamation of emergency. 
His Majesty grant the proclamation of emergency to PMS. His Highness brilliancy is undoubtedly beyond ordinary men. Both, I believe, blended their concern on two breaths the healthy breath of the people and the country economy. Furthermore, it is crystal clear that PM has the prerogative neither to advise nor to declare emergency after PM received consent from His Majesty during the audience. PM move is perfectly in accordance with the provision in the federal constitution. If not PM, who else then? Can an ordinary executive do that? I believe even His Majesty himself cannot simply declare an emergency. This is the rule of law based on the federal constitution. Hence, what said by Hanif is exactly right that it's not a clear situation as there is no case law yet. While Shamrahayu said the constitutional provision says that in whatever reason, no one can question the proclamation of emergency. In this case, why not put all the brilliant brand together to fight this virus? Stop politicking since the general election has yet to come and it will ripe after all, according to the constitution.